Konnichiwa and welcome, it's Clive Linden again here with another edition of Japanese Cooking for Idiots and today we're doing shogayaki, shogayaki or basically pork ginger and for this you will need the following ingredients some pork loin, some corn flour, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of soy, one tablespoon of the lovely mirin, one tablespoon of sake, no, no, don't drink it, cooking sake. If you haven't got cooking sake, don't worry about it, you don't uh, necessarily need it. Some water, one tablespoon, no, three tablespoons of water, tablespoons or te teaspoons, one to one and a half teaspoons of ginger. I will leave all the ingredients and the measurements uh, in the, the link dish. below. And of course, some pointed cabbage. Um, See if you can find that. First of all, season the pork loins with a bit of salt and pepper. Season as required. I'm going to wash my hands now because I've been a good chef. Right, then we're going to dip it in the flour. That means it's apron time, <laughs> because I make a mess. Oh, we need to preheat this, don't we? Yeah. Preheat the, uh, the pan, frying pan. Then we're gonna coat this in the corn flour. Yeah, like that. As we uh, wait for the pan to preheat, heat, we're going to mix our other ingredients, which I'll go through again. So remember, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of the soy, one tablespoon of the mirin, one tablespoon of the cooking sake, three tablespoons of water, to one and a half teaspoons of the ginger. All right, give that a mix. That's all mixed up there, lovely. Let's check the pan. And it needs a bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare the pointy cabbage, the pointed cabbage. Okay, and we're gonna chop it, apparently, sangiri, sangiri style, which I shall hopefully be demonstrating. So the hard bit here, the sort of stalky bit, Take that off. Don't want the hard bit. Shall I attempt to do it all in one pile? Maybe that's a bit ambitious. Right, so basically, sangiri is apparently very thin slices, like this. Is that too thick? Oh my. What? Too thick? Thinner than that? Like that? So after a quick coaching lesson, as thin as you can get it, with rhythm. I, I lack rhythm there. I'm going to need some music. There we are, really thin. That's not bad, is it? That's all right, isn't it? You can see, very thin. Let's check how we're doing with the pan. Yeah, I think we're good there. Roughly two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil, cooking oil. One, this one, two. There we are. So we take, get the, uh, the pork loin, yeah. and we pat it down, and then we're gonna, right. Maybe the pan can do a bit hotter. Right. I can see that my um, my pointy cabbage wasn't shredded thin enough, but it's being re-shredded to within the thickness of a molecule. Apparently, that's how thin it is. That's what sangiri means. One molecule thick. We're at, we're at the quantum level of cutting. Anyway, meanwhile. Back at hot pan station. Right, 
Anyway, so we're going to grill these until they're sort of golden brown on both sides. Okay, so we've uh, cooked these, you see they're nice, they're golden brown on both sides. Make sure it's uh, cooked through and then lower the heat. This thing I can low quite down, so put it on a really low heat. Then we take the mixture that we uh, made before. Yeah. Pour it around the edge like that. Okay. And then I've taken the heat right down. For one minute. And then we're going to just leave that for one minute. Yeah, maybe turn it once. Turning once during that time, apparently. <laughs> I'm just repeating what's being yelled at. You're not yelling. Yeah. You're not yelling. <laughs> I love the smell of soy and mirin and wow. Oh. All right, so turn during that minute if you can. Whoop, there we are. Look at that. Just turn it up slightly. Keep that bubbling away. I'm going to let it soak in the sides there. So after about a minute, in which you've flipped them during that minute or so, we're good. It's ready. Yeah. It's ready. Okay, so this is all ready. We're going to take it out of the pan. And we're going to use the sauce in the pan later and then we're going to slice, basically slice this. There we go. Oh, the camera's a bit low. I'm going to just scratch down here. <laughs> Shoga yaki or ginger pork. Yeah, come here. I can see that. Let's taste it. He says. Mmm. I'm crouching down because the time is a bit low. Ah, oh. best one yet. Yeah. It's delish. Absolutely delish. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>